So, here's my plan. I'm gonna be as nice as possible to obfuscate during my challenge. That way, he'll be convinced that he's unable to turn us abhorrent, and he'll let us go free! I appreciate the new ideas, dude, but I don't think that's gonna work. Hey, punt scum! Come face your challenge already, coward! Okie doke, thanks for the reminder. Well, I can't believe he could respond nicely to that waste of space. Hey look, a circus tent. Let me guess, clowns? Looks like someone's going up against Logan Paul. Huh, no clown after all. Little dinosaur thing. You must use your stick to summon a crystal ball. Then, think of a musical instrument, and the crystal ball must guess it correctly. Three times in a row. Ooh, 20 questions. Sounds like fun. Maybe you're not so bad after all. Fun? You're not supposed to be having any fun. <sighs> and I am as bad as you thought. Well, maybe you should have designed something less fun. Welcome back to ESO Labyrinth, the series where I make games in esoteric programming languages. I have nothing better to do except for making this video because of social distancing! Hooray! But anyway, minor annoyances about coronavirus aside, in this game, the player must think of a musical instrument, and the program will ask a series of yes or no questions to try to guess what that instrument is. Kinda like 20 questions. And by that I mean exactly like 20 questions. And this game will be programmed in Forte. Get it? Because Forte is a music word. And also, the name of an Lang. <laughs> get it? <laughs> get on with it! Yes! Get on with it! Get on with it! So, Forte, on the surface, resembles BASIC, but it acts almost nothing like BASIC. Instead of defining variables to represent integers, we use integers to represent integers. And by that I mean, we take one integer, and we can change its value to a different integer. Now that might sound like it makes absolutely no sense, and I'm pretty sure there is no way to explain Forte in a way that makes sense, but I'm gonna try anyway! So for example, take this line of code, let 1 equal 5. This line takes the number 1, and it changes its value to the number 5. So, if you tried to print the number 1 after doing this, the console would output the number 5, since the number 1 now contains the value of 5. If you printed 1 plus 3, you would get 8, which is 5 plus 3. Also, if you print an expression that would arrive at 1, such as 3 minus 2, you would still get a 5, because 1 equals 5. So yeah, it's weird. Now, those of you who are good at paying attention to details, like not me, may have noticed that in Forte, every line starts with a line number. Like in BASIC, each line of code runs in order, from 1 to whenever it ends. But in Forte, changing a number's value also changes when that line is run. So if we let 1 equal 5, the program will run line 4, then line 1, and then line 6. Because 1 equals 5, so it runs line 1 in line 5 spot. So, if you still have no clue how Forte works because it makes no sense, you can read its article on the SLN wiki in the description below. It's not in a card, because YouTube doesn't let me put links in cards. If a feature that allowed me to put links in my videos existed, that would be very nice! Maybe YouTube should look into doing that! Make a feature for me to use to annotate my videos! But anyway, back to the game itself. The 20 questions like game will be quite simple, and it will only have 12 instruments to guess from. Those instruments will be trumpet, trombone, tuba, flute, clarinet, saxophone, drums, xylophone, triangle, guitar, violin, and cello. I think that's a decent selection of instruments from the major instrument family, except, sadly, keyboards. Sorry, piano players, I forgot that the piano existed, even though Forte was given its name because of the piano. But if it makes you feel any better, I didn't include the mellophone in this list either, even though I play mellophone. So, in this game, each instrument's guess is assigned a number over 999. After any one of the guesses is printed, the program just ends. Moving back to the start of the game all the way at line 50, the game prints the basic instructions on how the game will be played. If you type a 1, that represents yes. If you type a 0, that's no. The first question the game asks is, do you blow into this instrument? This question is asked first because it effectively eliminates half of the instruments. 
The game takes input from the user and stores it into the integer 9999, which is an integer so high it's basically useless in this program except to store values, which is why we use it to store values. The next line, line 53, specifies which line of code to run afterwards. Line 55 is set to 54 minus the input times 2, and line 58 is set to 54 plus the input times 2. After doing this, line 55 will run if the player typed a 0, since both options are the same and Forte picks to run the one that started out as lower for whatever reason. If the player typed a 1, line 55 is now suddenly behind the current line, so it runs line 58. Line 55 brings line 200 closer, while line 58 brings line 400 closer. Line 200 is a question pertaining to non-wind instruments, while line 400 is a question pertaining to wind instruments. For now, let's just assume that the instrument is a wind instrument, because, spoiler alert, the game is made up of a bunch of modules that are very similar. On line 400, the question is printed, and afterwards, I hope you like specifying how lines should run in order after every single line, because that's happening now! Also, if you want to have two commands run on the same line, you can separate them with colons. Yo, turtle loser! Why does the program need to say that 401 is 400 plus 1? It already is 400 plus 1! That's inefficient! Fix it now! <sighs> That's necessary, you big doofus. At this point, you should just expect that response whenever you say, That's inefficient! Fix it now! So, since 400 now contains the value of 60, line 400 will run in place of line 60. Obviously, 60 plus 1 does not equal 401, so it will not run line 401 after running line 400 unless we tell it to. And so we tell it to. But, other than needing to renumber each line to keep things running in order, this just acts the same as the first question, right? Yeah, that's right. Like the game in the previous episode, this one is split into many modules, with the only real differences being the specific line numbers to change and the questions to ask. But anyway, if the instrument is not a woodwind, the player would type a zero now, which would take them to line 420. Hey, 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 listen to me! If you make a 420 joke in the comments, expect a snarky reply! Anyway, at that line, it asks if the instrument is played with a slide. If we say yes to this question, it moves line 1001 and has it run next. That line prints, I guess your instrument is a trombone, since the trombone is the only instrument you play with a slide. All other instruments are reached in similar ways, with more and more specific questions leading to one of the 12 instruments. And that is the 20 questions instrument forte game thing. It's actually more like, at max, 4 questions than 20 questions. Because there's so few options. Well, I guess now it's my turn to playtest this game! Give it to me! You promise not to break my computer this time? Ugh, yes! Now give it! This game is dumb! It only uses words again! I'm playable! Dude, I don't want to deal with you again, so... You better not cut to the cartoon segment! Neon Ophobo said he needs you to argue with me more! Okay, so... Is water a food? No! Water's stupid! Well, the internet audience says, yes, water is a food. Well, water's not a food because- I can't stand that guy. Really, I can't. So, crystal ball, I have my instrument. Ask away! Correct! <laughs> this is stupid. So, per my contractual obligations, I must play the instrument creature he chooses, even though I really don't want to. Hey, you're pretty good at that. Maybe you should have gone into triangle playing instead of eviling, or whatever you do. Uh, just, just, uh, just do the crystal ball thing and don't question my life decisions. Crystal Ball, you're pretty good at this! I should have done a more thrilling challenge! This is just lame! Hey buddy, you're supposed to buzz! Let me show you.
Drach! Quit showing off and get on with the last one, puny mortal! <laughs> I can finally stop using my torture device, fool! <laughs> Wow, you're way better than me at that! Could you give me lessons? Um, creature while I appreciate the effort given to be nice to that guy, it's not gonna work. And <laughs> my ears are bleeding! But look, the door's opening! Let's head through, we have nothing better to do! And the music's terrible! I agree. Obfuscate, you suck at playing that, and that's a recorder, not a flute! <laughs> Tiny weaklings, you're all so easy to torture! You'll be listening to this until... Drat. I should have made the door open later. Also, thank you all for 1,000 subscribers. Okay, that's the end of this terrible video. Bye!